Hi there, welcome back to the G Suite Show. You know, I'm super excited about today's episode. You know, me too, especially since it's a topic we haven't covered just yet. So today, we're talking about accessibility with G Suite. That's right. At Google, we believe in making accessibility a core consideration of our product designs. And that's why our G Suite apps come with a variety of accessibility features. So let's check out some of the basics. So let's take a look at screen readers and how G Suite works with them. In general, we recommend using Chrome with VoiceOver if you're on a Mac. NVIDIA with Firefox. JAWS with Windows. And Chrome with ChromeVox if you're on a Chromebook. So let's set this up in Gmail. In Gmail, it works best if we turn on shortcuts. For example, I open the Settings menu in the upper right corner, select Settings, scroll to Keyboard Shortcuts, and select Keyboard Shortcuts On. I can use keyboard shortcuts to do just about anything. And to see a complete list of them at any time, I just press the question mark key while in Gmail. It might also help to convert button labels from images to text. Just go back to settings and under the general label, scroll to button labels and check the box for text. If I'm using a screen reader with Google Calendar, it's the same process. I go to settings and turn keyboard shortcuts on. Also, screen readers and calendar work best in agenda view. So in the same settings tab, I scrolled to default view and change it to agenda. One of our coolest accessibility features available in Google Docs and Slides is voice dictation and speaker notes. That's ability to write and edit with your voice. And it works for dozens of languages and we're adding more all the time. If I'm in Google Docs, I make sure my microphone is on and then go to tools, then voice typing. A small microphone icon will appear. When I'm ready to record, I click on it. And when I'm ready to stop, I click it again. While recording, comma, anything I say will be converted to text, exclamation point. And I can make changes with my keyboard and cursor without stopping the recording, period. I can also use voice commands to do just about anything, from selecting a line, creating a table or list, copy, paste, and scroll, you name it. I can also say voice typing help to get a list of the available voice commands. Jimmy is the best. Bold. Highlight. Underline. That's a little much. Font size 72. It's, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a little too much. Outside of voice typing, Google and other third-party developers have developed a wide array of Chrome extensions to improve accessibility. To search for different extensions, I go to the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store. There, I can search for extensions that allow me to zoom in on websites, set a minimum font size, create a high contrast color scheme, and plenty more. When I find an extension I like, I just click Add to Chrome. Chrome always lets me zoom in on web pages by selecting the More icon in the upper right-hand corner and choosing Zoom, or by pressing Control and Plus, or Control and Minus. And Chrome automatically remembers my Zoom settings for each unique domain. Another useful feature is that Google Drive now offers automatic OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. So now I can convert images and PDFs into text. OCR is a breakthrough in machine learning to analyze images. And there's this really cool link here if you want to learn how to convert your PDF and photo files to text. All the stuff we talked about is just the tip of the accessibility iceberg. For a more comprehensive list, visit the G Suite user guide to accessibility. And support for accessibility extends beyond our products. Google funds dozens of academic research projects and education initiatives across the world that directly strive to improve the lives of people with disabilities. You can learn more about our efforts here. And that's it for today. We'll see you later. Check out last week's episode to learn how Gmail Smart Reply uses machine learning to make answering your emails on the go easier than ever.